As you've already heard, the 2017 staging of the Arnold Palmer Invitational was an emotional one. It was the first to be played after the King's death late last year. To mark this, the RNA has now commissioned two medals to be made to honour his Open Championship wins in 1961 and 1962. The medals will then tour around the United States in recognition of how Arnie grew the game. Golfing World caught up with three past Open winners to discuss the King himself, their memories of him and the effect he had on the Open Championship. The thing I remember uh, learning from Arnie is how he connected with the fans in such a like genuine way. It really mattered to him. And um, that's something that I remember seeing my first couple years out on tour, my first, certainly my first time right here at Bay Hill. Just watching Arnie interact with the fans and develop a connection. It seemed like he had an in, intimate one-on-one -on -one relationship with every single one. And so uh, I've tried to become that way too. As I moved over here and played more golf, I realized the you know the greatness of, of both his playing career, but but all the all the great work he did off the golf course, uh, all the charitable uh, uh, things that he was involved with, and, and uh, all the great things he achieved. So uh, yeah, he's he's a true legend, and uh, yeah, we're we're happy to be here honoring him this week here at uh, at his own course at his own tournament. Arnold Palmer was a real pioneer when it came to traveling the globe to compete internationally. He led the way for a lot of the American players who now travel across the Atlantic to compete in the Open Championship. A big step back in Arnie's day. He, he came over, he was uh, uh, one of the American players that I'm sure brought a lot of other American players to come over and play in the Open Championship and made, uh, made the Championship a, a better one as, uh, as such. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, he's, he's a big part of that as, as an old champion and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to have my name on the Claire Jug uh, beside him and having won on the same course as he won. I mean, to get everyone playing it, um, you know, get everyone over here to go and play it, to, to be a, a proper major international event um, was great for, for golf in general and, and for the tournament and that's why the Open is what it is today. Arnie was the first guy to go over and, and play year after year and he would win and he would go qualify and it just told me how much it meant to him and uh, therefore I felt like when I went over for the first time that I, be, I need to be prepared for how much it's going to mean to me and it did and so I have Arnie to thank for that. With the RNA commissioning the new Arnold Palmer medals, it's a real nod to the King and how much he meant to the Open Championship and the game itself. His legacy will live on as one of golf's true greats. I think that's a great initiative and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to seeing those medals uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a great idea. You want to, to keep be spirit um, in the game as, as long as you can and um, to tell people what he meant and what he did for golf and, and so that uh, you know our kids that plays um, golf in the future that they don't forget about uh, Arnold Palmer. I don't think there's too much we can do to honor Arnold Palmer's legacy uh, in any way. And so uh, if they're uh, releasing new uh, keepsakes or uh, items that can memorialize him, the more the better. He's, uh, he's meant so much to the game. He's why I have a job. He's why you have a job. And uh, we are, really can't thank him enough.